So the heat alone is enough to disrupt the C. diff? It's, well, we haven't demonstrated that yet, to be quite frank, but what's been demonstrated is that by applying hyperthermia, we're able to actually see improvement in clinical symptoms of patients with ALS. So people's muscle strength, this Improve. is a progressive disease, so it gets yes. worse and worse and worse. Every visit, they're worse. Right. You're seeing patients that it stops or gets better, which yeah. never happened. Correct. Right. So this is a major breakthrough. I think so. Major breakthrough. And, and this is not something new. This has been around for a long time. And so where in the world is most of the research being done on hyperthermia? For ALS? Period. I mean, it's, it's oh, most of, so there. Most of the research on hyperthermia actually is cancer research. So it's, they call it chemothermia, chemohyperthermia. So people can look up a lot of data on on how hyperthermia affects cancer. But as far as I know, there's zero data until now applying hyperthermia for ALS. We will be the first people to actually talk about applying hyperthermia for treatment of ALS. <laughs> 